You mentioned Josh Johnson leading the league in, in quarterback rating. He leads in just yards per attempt. He leads in deep rate too. So the targets on this team are super valuable. It's just hard for me to get a read on where those targets are going to go with Nelson Spruce out and now Trey McBride ranked up. Because even last week, Trey McBride, he only played 16 snaps. He ran 11 routes in those 16 snaps, uh, according to Pro Football Focus. But he wasn't like a fixture on the field. He just happened to get a target every time he was out there. Uh, so like... There was a lot of volume going Trey McBride's way, but not a lot of snaps. I think if I'm reading this situation and trying to make sense of it, I am inclined to lean towards Adonis Jennings. Now, Adonis Jennings led this team in snap rate last week among the pass catchers with 46 to 59 snaps. The problem is that he hasn't gotten a lot of volume despite playing snaps all year. He has three, five, and three targets the first three games. Uh, but six of those targets have been deep. He had five deep targets in week number two. The case you can make for Adonis Jennings, despite the lack of volume thus far, is that a lot of that volume has gone to Spruce, and with Spruce being out, it has to go somewhere else, and I don't really know what the snap rate's going to look like for other guys. I know Adonis Jennings will be on the field. I know he has $12. I know he has a tie to Josh Johnson, which is what we want, so I think the main guy for me standing out in this Los Angeles pass catching group is going to be Adonis Jennings as his super cheap value play at $12. But what is your read on the pass catchers here for LA? For the safety and just being attached to Josh Johnson for $12, Adonis Jennings uh, is really intriguing. His snap rate's been up uh, kind of week after week. Uh, Jordan Elijah Smallwood is also in the conversation. He's $15. Uh, he's got a 13% target share uh, on the season. His his snaps kind of up and down, like basically 60, 95, 66 were his snap rates. But uh, if you take Spruce and McBride off the field, I'd feel pretty good with Smallwood because we have seen him play uh, significant snaps. So for $15 uh, in this matchup, I, I don't hate that. I think the other thing with, with Smallwood that's encouraging is that when he did get volume, especially in week one, he was successful so I don't think they'll be super averse to increasing his snap rate again, given the injuries. So I agree that Smallwood is in play. I prefer Jennings, but I think both of them are pretty intriguing. And the one thing that I know with Trey McBride is I don't know if I'd hit the panic button fully yet because he was banged up the first two weeks, which is probably why he didn't play snaps. Like he was hurt and finally was healthy last week and the targets, he got targets right away in that game, and they were just chucking it downfield to him. Super good workout numbers for Trey McBride. So if we get clearance on him to like go full go, like if he's a full practice on Thursday and is listed as like probable, I know that's like extrapolating a lot. It's a lot of ifs. But if he if he does get that, I'd be willing to overlook the snap rate right last week and still use him at 17. But I think that Adonis Jennings provides some semblance of safety.